Bagi banyak fans olahraga Amerika, bisa bertemu atau mengikuti tim atau atlet pujaan hanyalah sebatas mimpi. Namun pria asal Iran ini berhasil menggapai mimpinya dengan menjadi wartawan jaringan televisi olahraga ESPN. I love riding. I always love to ride. And when I was younger, I loved to play sports too. And then obviously at a certain point in time, I realized I wasn't going to get much taller than five foot six. I realized I wasn't going to play sports, so I could write about sports. Things. I think this is finally the team Los Angeles. Memang tak mudah mencapainya. Satu dekade lalu, saat bekerja sebagai wartawan koran kampus, Arash mendapat fonis mengejutkan. I had done a story on a basketball player that had a Hodgkin's. I didn't even know what it was. I had to do research on it, and the parents are crying, and I said, you know, I, this is exactly why I got into sports journalism, so I wouldn't have to cover stories like this. I didn't want to uh, talk about kids getting cancer or anything like that. And then lo and behold, like a year later, I get the same kind of cancer. Tapi kanker tak menghalanginya. Setelah sembuh, Arash mendapat pekerjaan impiannya di majalah Sports Illustrated di New York. Profesi wartawan olahraga merupakan salah satu karir yang paling kompetitif di Amerika Serikat dengan gaji antara 35.000 hingga 100.000 dolar per tahun. Maka tak heran jika di tengah masyarakat Amerika yang begitu tergila-gila dengan olahraga, hidup sebagai jurnalis olahraga sering diidentikan dengan glamor. Namun kanker kembali menyerang. When I was in the hospital, like I made a list of the games I wanted to go to and the events I wanted to cover because um, I couldn't just think about my current situation. Kini hampir semua dalam daftar itu berhasil dicapainya. Saat tidak bertugas keluar kota atau mancanegara, Arash meliput kegiatan olahraga di kotanya Los Angeles. Kanker membuatnya lebih kontemplatif memandang olahraga. I remember when I was younger, I mean I would cry when my team lost. But I mean now, I mean it, it really doesn't matter to me who wins the game. I just want a good story. Lepas dua kali dari cengkraman kanker juga membuatnya lebih menghargai hidup. Well, maybe appreciate life a lot more. You know, I think I think the one thing when people meet me, they say that you're really happy. <laughs> Why are you always so happy? And I said, because like I woke up this morning. I'm living and I'm breathing and I'm talking to you right now. Arash yakin, sikap positifnya akan membantunya menghadapi tantangan hidup dengan hati lebih lapang. Dari Los Angeles, California, tim VOA.